Oh, it's been what? Three weeks max. Let's see what we've got in the box. This is my first official unboxing, which is a load of crap, really, because I hate watching unboxing videos. It's like, look, there's a box here. Let's get into it and see what we've got. We know what we've got. We've got a Fujifilm X-Pro 2, the complimentary camera strap, Kalari Vision Company. Thank you very kindly. Uh, we've also got a certificate of authenticity. Look at that. Camera model Fujifilm X-Pro 2, serial number and modification performed. 850 nanometers. Kalari authentic. Oh, <laughs> I like that. This is the thing. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I, I I love this camera. I absolutely love the Fujifilm X Pro 2. They've even given me a Kalari body cap. How cool is that? That looks pretty funky, actually. I prefer that to the lens. So let's have a look at the sensor. That actually doesn't mean much to me. Although it has got there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try not to stick the knife in too far. But just in there, you can see the name Kalari. We've got a lens. It is a 23mm f2, which equates to around about 35mm in, in real world style. We've got a SD card, 64 gig Xtreme Pro. So we'll slot that in the camera. I don't even know what it goes. I'll tell you what, while we're here, we'll chuck a battery in. That way, Paul, spanner, fresh battery in the X-Pro 2. I wonder if it turns on. Oh, it does, look, look, look. But there's no card in there. That's because I'm not loaded one yet. Calm down. Let's get the card in there. I'm a bit excited about this, actually. We'll put the lens on. Oh, look at that. We're ready to shoot. Listen, I'm not going to talk too much about the camera, the modification, anything like that. Let's just get out to see what this AI conversion does. Come on. Literally ran out with a camera. This is the first thing I found. Just a local cafe. To be honest with you, for a first up effort with this new converted camera or this new converted sensor, I'm quite impressed. You know what? The sky's black. You'll see on the video, blue sky day, it's turned black. The white building has come out white, <laughs> like it would do. So I moved on a little bit, and I found this tree across the road, so I kind of framed it round there, took a shot, looked on the back of the camera, and thought, that's crap. I didn't realise that the compensation dial had moved. You know, I'd knocked it to plus two. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why it's uh, all white and blown out and crap. When I reset the camera, I went to frame number three, which is, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I quite like that. And then I took another one. Number four, I don't know, it, it just looks a little bit more balanced to me. So that's probably the picture we're going to work on now. Let's stick it on the computer and have a quick look. Import the images that I took today. I wanted to shoot these on RAW, but in my uh, rush to get outside and get a picture, any picture, whatever, of anything, I didn't look at the settings. These are all fine JPEGs. Since then, I've reset the camera to shoot in RAW. That's not looking bad, mate. That's not looking bad. This is the third picture, and I've got a fella walking along there. Probably go with that one, because it's got the human element in it. So at the minute, this wall's looking a little bit sort of blown out, so we'll just drag back a little bit of detail there, give it a little bit of clarity, maybe 13 plus 13. Same with the dehaze, maybe plus 15. I like heavy contrast, so I just come down to the preset, strong contrast, hit that, and I mean, look at the difference. So that's as it was, hit the strong contrast, bang makes the blacks black and the whites white and then the very last thing i'm going to do is come down to post crop vignette and just give it a little bit of a vignette just to darken up the edges doesn't need it really and to be honest with you mate let's be right about it i am so so pleased let's just put it on a little bit brighter so you can see what's going on there you go what do you think of that i mean seriously what do you think of that i am chuffed to bits absolutely over the moon with that and that is all I took on this first little outing. I want to make sure that the camera worked and just see what a quick result was. That's a quick result. I can't tell you how pleased I am with that. Mind blown. Let's talk a little bit about the infrared conversion. I've got the Leica Q2, so that's my camera that does what I wanted this camera to do. But I still love this camera. I love the shape of it, the form factor, the weight of it, the ergonomics of it. I just love this camera. So I bought an infrared filter the 720 nanometer filter put it on there but then you've got to sit the camera on a tripod you've got to do long exposures and the results when they come back they're fantastic check out the video above of the last shoot i had with this infrared filter and i'll put another one up a little bit later on of a previous video i did with the infrared filter and i was so impressed with it that there and then i thought now the camera's got to go away i've got a new lease of life for this camera i did a little bit of research online i came up with a company called Colari vision in the united states so i looked at their website it gives you the pros and cons of each different conversion i found the one i wanted an 850 nanometer which is the highest infrared black and white conversion you can get that's got my name written all over it i'm not personally too keen on the color infrared conversions I, I just for me i just don't like them black and white i love heavy contrast this really does hit the spot paid for it online they sent me a lot of emails telling me the do's and don'ts what to send what not to send what sort of expected turnaround time was that was about maybe three weeks ago maximum three weeks the camera's back it's back and it and it's done and it cost me i think it was about 299 us dollars and then i think i paid about maybe 60 dollars 
New Zealand to transfer the camera over there. So the $299 US was the conversion price and return postage, which was, oh, can't fault it, can't fault it. Absolutely love this black and white conversion. I don't know the science about it. I don't know the ins and outs. There's a guy on YouTube called Rob Shea or Rob She. Mate, check out his work. I'll put a link down in the show notes. What he doesn't know about infrared photography isn't worth knowing. I know nothing. I'm a beginner. I just know the look that I like. This camera is going to do it for me. So over the next few days, just to round off this video, I'm going to head out, just get a few more sample photographs, see what my new X-Pro2 infrared camera does. What did you think of that? I'm almost speechless, which would be a good thing. I'm really getting a lot of enjoyment out of using this infrared converted camera. We get a lot of clear blue sky days today, <laughs> not one of them. And when we do, this is gonna come into its own and it's gonna absolutely rock. I've got no idea whatsoever what IR photography is like on a cloudy day. So I'm just gonna take a quick snapshot. If this one comes out anything like, I'll post it now. Failing that, I'll see you in the next video. What's it gonna be? IR camera, Leica 2, film camera, hell, I've got no idea. Check in, find out. Even on a cloudy day, it looks all right.